Democrat from Union City is facing a challenge from Republican State Senator Joe Carrillos, who has uh, represented the state's 13th district in Monmouth County for the past decade. He's trying to become New Jersey's first Republican senator since 1982, and the state senator joins us this morning. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Great to be on the broadcast with you. So how do you, in a nutshell, define what the most important issue is in this race? Well, listen, it's, it's, it's easy to define, and everybody feels it out there, wherever, wherever they live. However well they're doing or not doing, it's jobs. It's getting, getting the economy going again. We've got so many Americans in New Jersey, in New York, and across the land. They're either out of work, or they, they're not happy in their job they're in, or they stop looking for work, and it's, it's not the American way. We can do better. And so the job number one for me is to focus like a laser beam on jobs and the economy and do what we can do together in Washington, Democrats and Republicans, to move the ball forward. But as you guys know, because you're reported every day, they can't get along. They can't make a decision. Why is Bob Menendez favorite in the polls? And he's got, what, five times more money than you do in his campaign well, I, checks? I don't know. He's got more. Five times more? More. But I'm not sure what How the ratio is. It, it, keeps, it keeps going up and down. How much we're gonna, do you have? We're, we're going to have enough to be viable. We're going to have enough to be viable. And um, we raised over $3 million. And, of course, I've been at it for a year. He's been at it for six years. And that's one of the problems of, of the political culture of our country, this money chase and the fact that these guys, just for being incumbents, get money for pass and go, if you will. But here's the deal. It's not a typical election year in America or New Jersey um, because it's, it's not a typical year generally. This is a crisis point. This is a crossroads for um, for the country, and so. Um, How are you different than Senator Men Menendez? I'm, you know, it's a because I'm sure he wants to oh, create look, jobs too. You know, you know, I, you know we all want to create jobs, right. but you know what? We got to be intellectually honest in the policies that we pursue, and and not hoodwink people uh, with the kind of rhetoric that we spew out there and beat up on on certain groups of people, put out press releases that uh, that don't amount to much. They read well, like but they what? don't, Give us but an they idea. don't create like, any jobs. I feel and so, like you're making these broad statements well, and you're listen, not being specific. Well, li li listen, the, the private sector's hurting. They want tax reform. They want less government spending. They want government to get out of their way. But instead, we get these press releases about millionaires and billionaires and who pays what. And you know what? Even if some people ought to pay a little more, and there are certain people that should pay more, it's not going to create jobs. It's not going to make a big dent in the deficit or the debt of this country. We need a big scale, Simpson Bowl style culture and methodology that my opponent doesn't even talk about. And we need to pursue the kinds of policies that over the course of this country have worked. We know if we go back and do the same thing, we're going to get more of the same of, of, of what we have out there. So, you know, this is not the America that I was born to or that some people came to. And that's why I'm going to do certain things differently. I'm going to work with everybody to do it. My opponent, you asked me about the differences. He likes to sit in the, in the ideological corner that he comes from and not talk to the other side, the other side of the aisle. I want to talk to everybody and I want to talk to whoever the president winds up being uh, and move the ball forward. Would you define yourself as a moderate Republican? One of the reasons I think a lot of the electorate is sick and tired of, of what's going on in Washington is, is because of ideology, because of extremism and no one wants to meet in the middle. What kind of Republican I'm a, are you? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a center right Republican um, that is practical that wants to get things done. For me, the problems of the country uh, don't center around ideology or philosophy even, or certainly not partisanship, but these are practical problems. We have, we have math problems out there that we have to pursue. So conservative Republicans, liberal Democrats, if they're straight and honest, can work together, jump off together, and, 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 and move to, to productive outcomes. After we have the core mission settled, we can have the luxury of big ideological clashes on certain issues that are not the core problems of, of the country, which is the economy, 
jobs. And so I, 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 my style is to work with everybody. Senator, I am uh, out of work in New Jersey, or I am struggling to raise my family in New Jersey and keep my home, or I have uh, made a career and done very well in business, uh, but I find uh, tax policy, et cetera, et cetera, restrictive and keeping me from expanding. How are you going to address and, and, and make things better for those three constituencies? Well, we got to we got to lower tax rates. We got to lower tax rates for job creators. Number one, we got to get people back to work, um, give them job opportunities so they can um, so they can get a better job, so they can keep their house. We got to we got to loosen up the constraints on lenders out there. Not to the degree that we did in the in the old days when we made really bad mistakes. But people can't refinance their house anymore. The rules and the regulations are so burdensome. And so people can put money in their pocket. Those people that you talk about, uh, so many of us out there uh, worried about mortgage payments, they can't refinance their house. So w people know these problems are out there. The members of the Congress, my opponent, Bob Menendez, understands it. Why don't they get the job done? And so you're right. I'm a bit behind right now because people don't know me yet. But by the time we start this campaign, as it unfolds, as he spends money attacking me, as they, as they always do, everyone will know me. These polls will narrow. And I think New Jersey is going to have a very interesting uh, contest and, and, and people to choose from. Well, thank you so much for being on Good Day New York. Thanks State for Senator. having we me. Great to be with you. We appreciate your time. All right. I guess we're going to have Senator Menendez on at some point, too, I right? think we probably will, and I'm sure maybe a little more before I'm I'm sure you'll be getting the call before long. Okay. There we go. Thank and you. I'll come back again. All, All right. right. Good thank deal. Thank you so much. All right.